And now to this. More than one in 10 girls have been victims of rape, according to the U.S. CDC's Youth Risk Behavior Survey Report for 2021. Yeah, the number increased by 27% from back in 2019. Our Hany Ashivi taking a look at an effort inside schools that's helping make a difference in really preventing sexual assaults among teenagers. Hey, Hannah. Good morning, Lee and Sharon. The national organization is called Safe Bay. It's a student-led group that more and more schools have adopted in order to prevent sexual violence among middle and high schoolers. It educates teens about assault prevention, being an active bystander, how to better understand consent, how to help a survivor, avoiding victim blaming, and to just increase their knowledge on how to report abuse in school. I visited the Baxter Academy for Technology and Science in Portland for one of their weekly student-led meetings. On Tuesdays, any student who'd like to come and join the Safe Bay Club at Baxter can do so. Okay, okay. On this day, eight showed up. Today we're going to be doing a red, green and yellow flag activity where we're going to be looking at different relationship dynamics. Red flag. Red flag. Activities led by students for students. That's a good idea. Safe Bay has groups in 17 main schools. Senior Rowan Woodcock leads this school's club. Our school needs a lot of change. Uh, we don't have a health class and um, there's a lot of rape culture that happens at our school. And so I decided to make change within our school. Yeah. We could talk about maybe trust issues. Yeah. The program focuses on a topic many not talk about, but one that's very common and present among teens, sexual assault and how to prevent it. And like respecting that space and respecting yep. that boundary. Yep. I see it affect a lot of my friends and it affects me. Um, and I think it's very apparent at our school. And very apparent on a national level. One in three girls will experience sexual violence and one in six boys under the age of 18. Sometimes that's adult to child perpetration and sometimes that's peer to peer. Dire statistics that founding executive director of Safe Bay, Shale Norris, says can only change by empowering and educating today's teens. So that means that kids are really deciding what um, what issues are really impacting them in school? How is it deeply impacting their access to education, their safety, and their just understanding of relationships and intimacy? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. And with some lighter moments about real life dating scenarios. Does anyone want to read through? Just sitting here and engaging in conversation is the overall goal. So we want to make sure that kids and everybody have the tools to respond to somebody that comes forward, help them access healing and and not be um, in a position to victim blame. Preventing, responding and acting. Three focus words that are helping these and many other students understand what a healthy relationship is. Right. This has honestly brought a lot of happiness and purpose to my life. Um, this is always something that I've wanted to do for the school since freshman year. Um, and so having this opportunity has just been a really positive thing in my life. If we don't start this work early, we're not preventing that whole lifetime of, I mean, it's everything from domestic violence to workplace harassment. Any main school that wants consent education can get it. Thanks to a grant happening all this year where Safe Bay staff and trained students will come to your school to offer free preventative sexual assault trainings for students and staff members. If you are a student who has experienced sexual assault and you need direction to resources, you can reach out to Safe Bay in any of their social media pages and they would be happy to provide guidance and support. Lee and Sharon. All right, really important issue to address. Thank you, Hannah.